before Wild at Heart, before I attended the Wild at Heart venue, the filter that I lived my life through was different than the filter I lived my life through after. Uh, I have had always been a workaholic, had always put other things in front of God and in front of my family. And this was an opportunity for me to really understand why I was doing those things. We're both Christians and we're both Christ followers and I really, really wanted him to lead. I wanted him to be the man that was saying, hey, we need to ha read the Bible together. I need to pray over you. We need to go to church. This is what we're doing. And it was just hit or miss. I was passionate about becoming a better man and a better husband, better father, but I didn't know how to cover that gap of where I was today and where I felt like God really wanted me to be. Richard was invited to this Wild at Heart, and honestly, as a wife, I was thinking, my husband's going to be gone for a couple days, and I'm going to be on with the kiddos. Really, you're going to be standing in a field and, you know, shooting skeet or whatever. Um, and that's not what happened. Yes, he got to do those fun guy things, but he came back, and I, I kind of was a little bit wondering, you know, what's going on, what, what, it, what happened there, and I expected him just to fill me with all these amazing things that, was, that were going to change, and I'm like, here we go, and he didn't do that. He came back, and he was filled with a peace that I have never seen him have. And today, my family would tell you that uh, I am a man that puts God first, I am a man that puts my wife and my children first, and so the Wild Heart venue has changed me in a way that is going to help me live a legacy, live it out for my family, for my kids, for other people. I think the biggest impact that I've seen in my life is being able to walk in that bedroom and seeing my husband, a grown man, kneeling by the side of the bed, reading the Bible and praying. Huge! That's a huge difference. My children are seeing that. He's praying over all of us. It's an intentional thing and what I love is that I think that our family now has purpose and now has direction and we didn't have that before. We were seeking it finally but we didn't have it and now we do.